Today on Electronics Tinker, we're going to be showing you this vacuum board for the Shape Boker 3. So here is the file open in the Carabide Create software. You can see each of the individual squares and they fill up the entire board. There's also the channels that go across horizontally to get the vacuum to all of the different squares and the large pocket down on the right side to connect to the vacuum hose. If you zoom in you can see all of the individual paths that the tool will take and they're all in squares as it gradually gets larger. Also I've set the dimensions of my uh, cutting area to the same size as my board that I'm going to be cutting so that everything will line up pretty well. Then going over to open up another file, which is the top, it has all the holes in it. So here's the file with the holes that go all the way through the board. This will enable the vacuum to actually get to the piece you're working on. Each hole is a quarter inch in diameter and they line up with the squares on the bottom. And there's four to each square. And then they travel over under through those channels over to the large pocket on the right side over to a small hole where the vacuum hose connects. So let's go over to the time lapse and watch this get cut. Here we are cutting the board. You can see the shape boku going along as it goes through the various layers of all the squares. Right here it's just doing a single depth cut, so it's the first time it'll go through all of them, all the squares. And you can see we've had a few mistakes in it where we accidentally disconnected the computer from it. Um, so that resulted in that last row being a little bit screwed up, but then we fixed it and it, we are running it again. So here it is going through the second pass through all the squares. You can see it is making them a little bit deeper now. We've also done the huge right pocket for the vacuum. Also in the background you can see us holding the vacuum to suck up most of the dust created by the cutting process as we do not have a boot to go over the head. Um, it works fairly well, but as you can see, some dust does collect on the actual piece. There we go, we flipped it over and are now cutting all the holes. We had a little problem with the camera, so it skipped a little bit, but we're going on now. And we're currently using the vacuum to actually hold down the piece. And there we go. Now the piece kind of slipped a little bit, so the last few uh, lines of holes are a little bit wonky, but it's fine. And here we have a close-up of the cutting process in actual speed. You can see as the head takes each individual path, as it gradually works, the square will be a little bit larger each time. And how most of the dust ends up getting sucked up by the vacuum. This is the bottom side of the vacuum board. You can see all of the squares and the channels that lead up to the large pocket where the vacuum hose connects. And you can also see how all of the holes that were drilled on the top go through into the pockets so that the vacuum can pull on whatever piece is on top of the board. Here is the top of the vacuum board and you can see all of the holes that are going all the way through to allow the vacuum to touch your workpiece. There are also some traces that connect between some of the holes in the center of the board and these are just to increase the amount of surface area that the vacuum will pull on on your workpiece to give it a better grip. Here we are with the close-up of the connection between the vacuum hose and the vacuum board. This is a piece of garbage disposal pipe. It's the piece that connects the garbage disposal to the actual drain system and it's just attached with two wood screws using nuts as uh, washers for spacers. And then to connect the vacuum hose, we've just wrapped some duct tape around it and then uh, wedged it tightly into the end of the tube, making a pretty good vacuum seal. That's all we have for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. In the left-hand corner, you can see the Shapeoku Hello World Run. And in the right corner, you can see my 65CO2-based computer.